name is Matthew Grimes. I'm a reader uh, in organization and innovation at the Cambridge uh, Judge Business School. So uh, certified B Corporations um, are, it's a certification that was provided by B Lab um, as a way of signal, as a way of for organizations to signal their commitments to environmental, social, and governance related values. So these um, companies range uh, from very small, you know, one-person enterprises to very large-scale organizations. This paper is part of a larger research program with Joel Gaiman, and it's actually our fourth paper related to B Corporations. Um, so we see certified B Corporations as an incredibly fertile setting within which to explore questions related to values, identity, categories, and so forth, both at the individual level as well as the organizational level. And in this case, Joel, Ke, and I, the three authors on this paper, noticed that despite the growing legitimacy of B Corp certifications, there were still a number of social enterprises that were not certifying and not even interested in certifying. So why, why was that? Um, why do some founders choose to certify their sustainability commitments while others ignore those opportunities? You know, because I think the null, the null hypothesis here, you know, the, the thing that most people expect is that this is all just about legitimacy. Um, organizations are essentially buying certifications to appear more legitimate. But, but of course, th that answer can't explain early adoption of certifications when those certifications aren't actually all that valuable as a means of providing legitimacy, right? So given prior emphasis in the literature on differences in gender-based identities as well as contextual factors such as you know, differences by region and industry that might account for some of the variance in certification, um, we began to explore some of those, those links in particular. Um, we, we know, for instance, that women are more likely to found social enterprises and we know that the reason for this is that their identities are more often informed by pro-social values. Um, alternatively, we know that the B Corp certification has more or less prevalence within different industries and different regions. Um, so these two sources of variation, identity and context, uh, laid the ground for our hypothesis development and more importantly it gave us a way to test our suspicions that this isn't all just about legitimacy, it isn't all just about buying certifications to obtain legitimacy. Um, and in fact we, we find that it's not, so you know, we tested our hypothesis using data that we obtained via a grant um, from B Lab, courtesy of the Case Center at Duke. And uh, what we find is that not only are women more likely to obtain the B Corp certification, but they're even more likely to do so in contexts or settings where there would seem to be little to no legitimacy boost for doing so. So, you know, when they are in regions or industries where the values of the B Corp certification are misaligned or when fewer organizations have adopted the certification, or even when there, are, there were fewer women present in those settings. Um, the, all of these contextual factors, which you know, ostensibly minimize the contextual legitimacy of obtaining the certification um, as a B Corp, make women even more likely to lean in and certify. Well, you just heard me mention the idea that women are likely to lean in. You know, essentially, we argue that women are, are jump-starting the field of social entrepreneurship. In, in this case, through B Corp certification adoption. Um, and well, if, if you're B Lab, the, the immediate implications here seem pretty obvious, I think. And you know, we've actually been in touch with B Lab, and they've told us that they've been actively discussing our results to inform their, their strategies and policies. Um, which we were ex extremely excited to learn. Um, but the implication is that if you are trying to get traction with a pro-social cause like the B Corp certification and you're finding it difficult to do so in particular contexts, you know, for instance, dirty regions and industries, I'll use dirty in quotes, um, the, you know, the solution is not necessarily to invest in making your certification appear more legitimate. Uh, the solution is, is identifying founders whose identities are wrapped up in pro-social values. And it just so happens that a contemporary shortcut for um, identifying these types of individuals is to focus on women founders. Um, it, it, you know, so in other words, women are, are not just more likely to found social enterprises, which we know from prior literature, but they are also the ones who at this point in history are more likely to help build the field and start what, we're, what we would refer to as a social entrepreneurial revolution.